welcome back to Liz Sews. Today I have another spotlight video and this one is the Walk in the Woods kit by Bra Builders. It should probably come as no surprise that this is one of my favorite kits because I absolutely love green in any form. Uh, you can probably tell by my fingernails here that this was a complete fluke that they ended up matching so well. Uh, but I really have enjoyed this kit a lot and it's featuring her seasonal color woods. So I have the different range of fabrics here and you can sort of see how the greens pick up in different colors across the different fabrics. So let's take a little bit more in depth look at each of these. First up, we have the lace. The lace is about eight inches wide, so eight inches this way, and an all over design, and this is a stretch lace as well. So it makes it a little bit easier, more versatile to use because it does have some stretch in it. You could also quite easily use this in a pair of panties or bralette or something like that. Now, this lace you've probably seen before. I don't think you can buy it to, dyed to order, but last year in March, she had a kit called Ferns and Flowers, and it utilized the same exact lace. So here's the lace from the Ferns and Flowers kit, and you can see that, yep, it's the exact same design and detail, just a little bit different of a color. So that is the lace, and in terms of color on the lace, I would say this one leans more like army green. It picks up a little bit more of those murky brown tones, which I really love, especially for fall. Moving along that same line, we have the sheer cup lining. And again, the sheer cup lining does pick up a little bit more of those murky green colors, which is really, really nice. I mean, if you're somebody who likes a true green, this probably isn't the kit for you. But if you're looking for a little like dustier, more army style green, I think it is absolutely perfect. So that's the sheer cup lining. And then we have the, I think this is medium weight power net and the micro duoplex. Those pick up a little brighter of a green color. So a little bit truer green, whereas these are a little bit more brown and green. I think both are equally gorgeous. And I think that, I mean, I know that for myself, dyeing green is a little tricky. It definitely takes on lots of different hues and tones depending on the fabric content. And it's something where I would use it more as a feature instead of thinking it as a downside. So just embrace the fact that you have a wide range of tonalities with this, of the different fabrics, and then we'll also take a look at the different findings as well. So lace, sheer cup lining, power net, and micro duoplex on the fabrics. And then I have a wide range of findings to show you here just because I wanted to be able to show you the sort of depth and range of different colors of greens that you might see. So the strapping elastic always tends to take the color the brightest. So I have some three quarters of an inch strapping. Here's one that's a half an inch strapping that, that leans just slightly more olivey. Again, both really, really beautiful. Um, some pico elastic here. And then I also have some pico elastic here and you can see that it's a little bit browner tone of a green. So I think that if you're purchasing this kit, I, I wouldn't buy it thinking that you're gonna get something that is exactly matchy matchy. You're gonna get a wide range of colors. I think that's really beautiful. I also think it sort of like reminds me more of fall to see like those changing colors start to happen. So here's some, some more pico that's taking on a little bit browner color, green. Um, here's some underwire channeling. Like it just, it takes on color really interestingly and different and it's something that I would definitely highlight in your bra instead of just trying to shy away from. So now let's take a look at the color comparisons. So this one is woods and I have it in sheer cup lining. I had touched on this briefly, but here is fern. This one is also in sheer cup lining so you can get an apples to apples comparison. And I also brought out dusty sage. So dusty sage, at least in sheer cup lining to me, looks a lot grayer and, I, and it doesn't look like that in all of the findings. So I also pulled out my Dusty Sage Micro Duoplex here and I think it's a little bit truer to what the Dusty Sage color looks like. So all three of these greens are still available. You can select them, you don't have to enter it in as a special color or anything like that. So you have woods, Dusty Sage and Fern. So you get a good comparison of what those different greens look like in her lineup. Uh, and also sort of unrelated, I pulled out this bra tool here and this is the olive colorway that the TaylorMade shop is currently selling. So 
olive bra tool and I thought that one was probably the closest to woods in terms of like color saturation and closer in color. So last up, of course, we just have the finished bra so you can get a little bit of inspiration on what you would make with this kit. So for my finished bra, I chose to use the sheer cup lining along the bottom of the cups as well as the outer cradle and bridge. And then I just highlighted the lace in the upper cup here. So this is a pattern that I have been working on for myself. It is a diagonal seam so that I tried to match it up with the bottom of the Gothic arch elastic and then going into the armpits here to give me that look. I don't know why, but I just sort of had this idea of like, this green looks like camouflage and then wouldn't it be cool to have like a barely there camouflage? Um, so that's why I went with sheer cup lining on this one. And I just, I love these style of bras. They're particularly comfortable in the summertime uh, because they breathe so easily for me. And I, I really like sewing with sheer cup lining because it's almost like sewing with x-ray vision. You don't have to worry about getting tucks or anything because you can see all the way through the bra and see what's on the other side. So this is a diagonal seamed cup that I've been working on. So it's not a pattern that you can buy. It's just one that I've been hacking together. And then I've added a Gothic arch in the center of this one. So lace, sheer cup lining and power net on the sides. And then you can see here from the inside of the bra, what it looks like, what the guts are. Not much different from the outside, but again, I have that nice crossover of my Gothic arch here. I've been really digging that detail lately and I've been using it a lot of my bras. And then for the upper cup, I went ahead and used uh, Pico Elastic to cover my upper edge of the upper cup piece here where the lining and lace intersect. A lot of times I will do a folded upper cup, but I thought that this lace was dense enough that I didn't really need to sort of fake it. Like you can't really see the Pico Elastic there color wise. You might see a little bit of a bump of the elastic just because it's there, but not, you can't like see through the lace to see that elastic. So yep, this is the inside of the bra. I'm just really, really loving this one. I am probably going to make another exactly like this for myself because I adore this colorway and I think the sheer bra is perfect for it. So it's been a couple days since the rest of this video was shot, but I have gone ahead and made a second bra out of this kit. And I thought you guys might be interested just to see a different take on how you could use the materials. Uh, this one is definitely much more of an opaque bra. So I was looking at, I think it's called the Ophelia pattern, and I really liked the style lines of it. So I just sort of hacked it myself to figure out, you know, how I could get a look that was like that with this external sling. Uh, I, I personally now am finding that I'd much rather hack it myself out of a pattern that I know that fits versus buying a new pattern. Um, but if you are looking for something that, that has this look to it, I would definitely check out the Ophelia pattern and I'll, I'll link it down in the description box below. So for this bra, I tried to play off the fact that the different colors of green in here. So the under cup is done in lace and sheer cup lining. And then this external sling I've done in micro duoplex. So it has a really nice soft look to it. And then you sort of see that interplay of the different greens next to each other, which I think looks kind of cool. Uh, the outer cradle and of course the bridge are also done in micro duoplex on this. And and we have the power net on the sides. From the interior of the bra, there's not a whole lot that needs explaining here. Um, just sort of is like every other bra, of course. You can probably tell by looking at this that this was based off of the Black Beauty pattern since most of my, my pattern hacks are based off of the Black Beauty and I just try to change up the style lines for it. Um, but yeah, really happy how this turned out. And I hope this gives you like a, d a little different idea of some other directions you could take with this kit. Um, I think that's one of the things that's really exciting about the kits is that you can get so many different looks. It's all about your own individual personality and imagination. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the Walk in the Woods kit from Bra Builders and I will see everyone next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.